Robert, Robert, Robert our director. How are congratulations, Matt. Yeah, you did well. I'm <laughs> very impressed with your directing. You have wonderful hands. Thank you. Uh, do you have a degree? I do. Well, that was not a surprise. <laughs> 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 no, uh, it's just uh, just some really nice things you did. Thank uh, you. Like your hands were very good, and uh, it was obvious that you know Snipe got that. Do <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you teach choral music? I do. High school? Do you I teach junior high. That's no problem. That's great. Well done. And you guys obviously love this guy. Yes, yes. That's no, there's no question about hey, that. We're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not trying to let him know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'll shut up. <laughs> well, I think I'll take this off. Very good. Uh, how did you enjoy the performance? Good. I liked it. Good. Well, yeah, you, very you should have. You should have. It's very good. There's a lot of, a lot of positives about the performance. What I enjoyed was your focus to Robert and the the good things that you did were obviously there. There are some things we can certainly work on, uh, but uh, you know, like you, you're obviously working on Legato and the way Robert directs. Um, Legato singing, the way Robert directs, you can see that he's, it's hard for you to sing choppy. You're trying not to sing words and notes, but obviously I have down here more Legato, but it's obvious that you're working on those sort of things. Um, I, uh, I noticed that a once in a while a lead would pop out but it wasn't all the time, so that's a very positive thing. So what do we have, about half the chorus here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well, we'll try to work that out. Um, I really uh, I have to say that I thought I'm happy. It was interesting that you did that arrangement because it's a little bit of a challenge, but you did it well. I was really pleased with that. And by the way, all three of us were very close in our scoring. I mean, my, yeah. like I think we were one point one apart point. on yeah. all both songs, which is really yeah. quite good. Yeah. Actually, we all huddled, and <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of good. Um, let's uh, let's talk about something that I, well, actually, believe it or not, uh, the second song had a little more interesting things to work on. So I'd like to, to like, really like to get there first uh, because. Uh, What's the title of that song? Well, come back. Come back oh yeah. Me. Well, that's right. I'm I'm getting tired. Obviously, a little punchy. Um, let's take let's take the bass section because I think that's one of the things I'd really like to work on. You have the concept of the timbre, everybody singing the section, everybody singing the same type of quality throughout the ranges. But the bass section it crops up a little bit in the first song, but in the second song it really crops up about the bass section, understanding that as we lower the go, the more forward they need to sing to keep the lead like quality. Mm -hmm. Obviously you're shaking your uh, head. Yes, yeah, so you obviously have worked on it. <laughs> yes. Well, what, do we have any basses here? We have yeah, yeah, we no. four, two, three, four. Enough. Okay, so we have, yeah, um, let's uh, start, where do you want, do you want to start at the beginning or? Um, I would, I, the part I'm thinking you're probably talking about is right at the chorus, the dive. Yes, that'd be great. Uh, do we have four parts? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Can we start there, please, mm -hmm. Robert? This is your good. But I want you to think about the idea of not shutting down, but on, on keeping the sound more forward as you go down and into your lower range to see what happens. Yeah, twice. But I want you to think that you're actually setting it up on the. This is the mulligan, I think, for doing it again. But remember, if you sing the, you actually do it pretty well. But with the, we'll set up your sky. The, the, think the die. Sing that for me. The sky. Just sing it for me. The sky. The will tell me how well the sky is going to go. Now sing the sky. The sky. That's what I'd like. The sky. That's pretty good. You don't get to sing, Chuck. The sky. Now, when did you do that in the song? <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. That's really well done. Now, you're having just a little bit of trouble with that lowest note. Your job is to do this. Sing it the best you can, and if it means you need to sing a little softer, that's okay, because if you allow it to happen, it'll be the best you can sing it, and actually add, add resonance to the sound. You don't, the object is, don't try to match the sound, the volume of the other sounds around you, you sing within your voice. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, sing within your voice. Let's see what happens. The, the sky. 
You hear that? Wow. Well done, young man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Chuck has a Chuck has a bigger sound, which is fine. But you need to sing your voice. Don't ever try to match up with somebody bigger sound. You know, it just it, you just don't do that. Well done. You you're very smart. Well done. Okay. Now. <laughs> Wait well, <for> a day. <laughs> no, no. The point is, do this all the time in all the music that you're doing. And I know you're smart enough to figure it out right away. We don't have to do this. And so use this from now on, but sing within your own voice, sing the volume that you're capable of singing in the best quality there. Well done. Well, that was easy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Those faces aren't here. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, Robert, good grief. You teach choral music. My gosh, you, you'll grab the stuff. Is somebody recording? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Now, the next issue, and, it, and again, I actually grabbed a little bit of on in I'm Happy, but it also happens a little bit more in... Uh, in uh, Lover. The lead section in the upper, when it went up into their upper range, mm -hmm. uh, uh, too much chest in their voice going up into the upper range caused it to be flatter, mm -hmm. caused it to go flatter. Uh, you're the only lead here? Okay, good. What you need to do is, I'll try this. I used this earlier, but I, um, all of you can do this, it won't hurt you. So all of you spread out so you don't hurt anybody. <laughs> and it's all a head voice exercise. <clears throat> I'm sorry. All of a sudden I have, um, okay. Everybody does this and I want you to use your arms and throw them out when you do it. And everybody does it nine first. My, 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 my. 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 My, 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 my. Check it out, Anas. Here's your falsetto. Blow up, blow up. A flat. A. A B flat. Yeah. Okay. Now that's a B flat, and I don't think anybody. I think you probably slipped into falsetto. That's a B flat. I don't think any of the songs you sang were a B flat. How'd that feel, Oliver? Very, very good, actually. Yeah. Well, the kind of aesthetic feeling about this is. Boy, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay, the bottom line is, is that's an exercise you can use. You can use with the kids for heaven's sake. What it does is the, the kinesthetic feeling is rather cool. That's what it is. But the bottom line is, I've used it a lot, and it really does. It frees up. It takes all the muscle out of the sound. It opens it up. Yeah. And uh, if you can pop a B flat like that, they can learn how to do it. But it becomes habit after a while if you use it. Use it in your warm ups, get the guys to really understand. But the lead section, well, everybody can use it. The baritone, and they won't hurt the basses. Basses may want to use falsetto up there. Some of them may not. But the bottom line is, the lead section needs to really grab that yeah. so that then they're up. What is it, a G that you have in that? Yeah. Yes. Okay, the bottom line is that's where you need to go with that. Okay. So, it's the prep sound, like the prep notes that for, for the low notes, it's the prep notes for the high notes. Mm -hmm. So whatever they have there on Lover, it's the prep notes just before they make the leap up. They already have to be in the voice. Mm -hmm. yeah. they have, either way, they have to already be in the note. So, I mean, the, in the in the voice. Yes. Okay. You know, you're obviously. Yeah. You're, I, I know exactly you're, what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I read sleep. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, be careful on your volumes, on the center and the loud. When the guys really got excited, and they and they should have been, they had a tendency to want to push versus release the tone. Make sure the warm air is under the tone. Uh, I'm giving a lot that you're recording so I can dare do this. Uh, make sure that they don't push and don't muffle it. Make sure you always work on the warm air and keeping the, the sound, keeping the warm air and the breath under the tone. And uh, you, you know, you're very good. This should be, core, this core should be twice as big as it is right now. And you, you're as good as you are. There's, there's no reason why there shouldn't be more members in this course. And you have some good singers in this course too, which is really exciting. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Um, yeah, uh, can you do, can you start in the, go ahead, start, start at the beginning. There was some, there was some uh, slow to tune <laughs> stuff going on inside the phrases. Are we on the ballad or the other? Uh, lover, come, yeah, let, lover, come back. <coughs> There's some slow to tune issues going on uh, through, through this song, and I think it had a lot to do with the guys. You may be, uh, what you're doing is directing. The guys just need to be, uh, had to do with connecting sound. Mm -hmm. I know it's a little more like at a higher level, but you're, you, this is what the chorus that should be singing at a higher level. And I'm talking about single consonants, word sounds, mm -hmm. getting to the targets and moving through. Yeah. And then what it is, some of the guys are turning their dips off too early, mm -hmm. and it has to do with them running out of breath. Okay. And I know one more thing that may surprise you, but I want to see what you're doing first before I get into it. Yeah. Shake when you breathe. Okay, here we go. You went away, I let you. We broke the ties that bind. I wanted to forget you. Part of it is breathing. Oh boy, this is a broken record for me. <coughs> Make sure you're breathing the phrases. You're either singing or breathing. So you breathe to release the phrase. That same breath starts the next phrase. You understand that? Can do it. Uh, and now I'm just still hearing some of you turning your dips on too soon. Stay with your targets longer. Get going. Move on. Go. <coughs> you right. Now what you're doing, I had to learn because you and I come from the same place. That's why high school, college, is going to explain this. Mm -hmm. We we can't do that. You got to give them a. You got to give them the extra six seconds. Okay. You no, 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 you just, you became sterile. <laughs> <laughs> you went away. Okay, don't become sterile. Yeah. You went away, I let you. We broke the ties that bind. Okay, no. Ties, ah. Uh -huh. Ties that bind. The guy bass is you're turning the ties too soon. Ties that bind. By the way, oh boy, boy, oh boy, boy, you think I was working with a, a low 70 chorus, but you guys, God gun you. You've got to move the, like ties, you're moving the Fs too soon. You've got to put the Fs on the next word. Record this. I don't know how to get into this. Le I can get back here. <laughs> but it's got to be ties that. The Fs has got to go on the back. You with me? Yes. yes. Huh? What did you guys get the score for? You should have got a higher score. I'm um, coaching. We were going to ask you that. I know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. No, but guys, you're, you, what you're doing is you're allowing me to score. I coach you at a higher level just because of what you're doing, which is fine. I don't mind. So do it again and remember. <laughs> yeah. 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 You went away. I let you. We broke the ties that bind. I wanted to forget you and leave the past far behind. Still, the magic of the night I met you seems to stay. Robert's doing the right thing. You guys have to be more cognizant of what the interpretation is. He's not giving you every beat. So we have to make a decision what the interpretation really is. <laughs> because he's not giving it to you, which is bravo for him. But we're not together inside the phrases because of it. Now he's either going to beat four or whatever that is, and or else you guys are going to all have the same idea of what the, the interpret, interpretive line is. Right now it's not together. Okay. All right. Do it again. You went away. No, you didn't breathe the vowel. You didn't breathe the vowel. You didn't breathe. The, you you got to go. You went away. Here we go. You went away. I let you. We broke the ties that bond. to forget you. Okay, get you, get 
you. <coughs> yeah, you. Can I do it again? <coughs> you went away, I met you. We broke the ties that bind. I wanted to forget you. to stay forever in my mind. Okay, Lynn. Mind Okay, mind. We're, we're having a little bit of a, and if maybe the way you stack it will fix that up. But those are the kinds of things you need to do. Uh, and maybe the way you stack it fixes, because uh, there's some, there's just a little bit of, of dissension in the uh, which pitch we're going to sing there. But uh, those are the kinds of things you work on. But, no, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what else. Um, oh, socks. Hardest volume to sing. And how do we sing that? With a lot of intensity. And do you know how to fix that? Yeah. Any questions of me? No. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Well, fire away. Uh, it, these are all things that, like you said, we, we've worked on, and it's just, it's good to hear them again and to kind of reiterate what we need to work on and, and all of that stuff. So if we can go further in the song and sing through, if that's okay. Go. Okay. So it goes from when I remember you to the end. Get right to the E. The O is the spot, but it isn't E that you're going. You got to go through the O to get to the E. And those are the things you need. You know, it, it, believe it or not, it's going to help your teaching. Like you cannot believe it, that this this style uh, did wonderful things for me as a teacher. And you will find out it's going to do the same thing for you. With with. Going to the right through it, guys. Here we go. When I remember every little thing you used to do. Sing it. 
I look it up. It's in the English language. The V. It's called a fricative. I'm not swearing at you. <laughs> it does exist. Uh, da, da, da. Here we go. The sky, the sky is blue. The night is cold. The moon is new. Love is old, it's old, and while I'm waiting here, this heart of mine is singing. Love come back. Thank you. 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 Thank you.